shooting this. This is ball game, ball game, ball game, baby. That's the W in Club 2K. Good game, fellas. Now the only thing left to do is dance on him. What a win, you guys. All right, folks, watch out. 2K TV is hitting those park courts. That's right. We already got started this past weekend at Club 2K, Top Deck, and the Adidas Basketball Open Run. That's <laughs> nice. And guess what? Feed me the rock. We're on a streak with wins in each. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The bronze likeness of Lakers great Magic Johnson that can be found just outside the front door of our location today, the Staples Center. Hello fans, welcome to this presentation of the NBA Sunday Night Action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Big man Jarrett Allen challenges all high flyers at the rim. He said nobody likes getting dunked on. People call it a business decision. I don't think about that. My role is to be a rim protector, so I'm going to sacrifice for the team. Whether it's a block or a dunk, either way, I'll be on a highlight. It's a good way of thinking about it. Guys? Absolutely, David. He knows his role, doesn't he? Thanks for that report. All right, a chance to check out stats for Joe Ingles. And guys, I think the best way to measure his performance these last 10 games is his effective field goal percentage, which has improved a sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. Here's the starting group for Houston. The backcourt made up of Wall and Green. Jayshon Tate out there with Joe Ingles. And it's Allen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Clippers, they've got Kennard. Paul George is out there with Ivica Zubas. And it's Preston in at the guard position. And two conference rivals scoring off tonight, Steve. This has the feel of a playoff game. Kevin, these teams have had their battles in the past. It's always fun to see them match up. Now here's Wall. In the game against Chicago, very impressive. Here's Ingles. The kick out to Wall. Rocket two from deep green. That one misses. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. Now here's Wall. Paul George unable to get his shot to go. Wall. At times, Wall can be so explosive here, playing downhill and then just sails over the defense for the dunk. Here's Preston to the left wing. Zubox trying to break loose. A second chance effort. And that's two points on the way. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. And Tate gets it to go. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive stop. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Now, here is George. He's coming off a 40-point game against Oklahoma City. Here's Perkichin. Ingles with the rebound. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Paul George grabs the miss. Clippers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Here's Preston. Whoa, with a block. A stellar all-around defender. Wall enjoys rising up and denying shooters. Outside, Green. And here is Ingles. He's coming off a 10-point game against Chicago. No good from outside. And Kevin, how about his basketball journey? Taking him from Australia to Spain, then Israel, before finally landing in the NBA at age 27. But Joe Ingles, boy, was well worth the wait. Now George. After Joe Ingles missing on that last three-pointer. Kennard for three. Allen with the rebound. Houston in the lead. 
Pass to Wall. Preston with the rebound. And he grew up playing Australian rules football, and Ingles not afraid to mix it up. And early in his career, guys would look to attack him one-on-one, -on -one, but they learned the hard way. He's long, active, and uses anticipation about as well as anybody. And it's Wall with the ball for the Houston Rockets. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a group. You know, I love what the coaches did tonight. They pushed the right buttons time and time again. Preston passes to Kennard. A miss that time would have put him up. Houston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And the wide open shot from Green. Drops in the tray. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's George. And he's currently averaging more than 26 points a game. Such a force. Pass to Preston. Now left of the wing. From the corner. Oh, good on that one. And the Rockets take it the other way. Now the pass to Tate. They get it again. Ingles lays it up off the glass. Ingles. Right there, it's who wants the basketball the most. And it's Joe Ingles creating the extra possession. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Passes it to Kennard. Zubats in the post. Covered by Wall. And that one is good from Zubats. Zubats has got his second bucket tonight. Wall looking for an opening. And it's good for two. Inside, outside. It, it doesn't matter. Like how Wall attacks and looks to score when the opportunity presents itself. Now here is George. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first and, and we all know what George brings offensively. But it's his ability as a defender that stands out. Great instincts to make plays on that end of the floor. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Paul George. And with Paul George in his defense, Greg, you almost forget how great of an impact it makes. He just kind of flies under the radar with his defensive play. I mean, this guy could be considered for the defensive player of the year almost every year. One of the more disruptive forces on that end of the floor. And George drops them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Outside, Green. Floats it up for Wood. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. George dishes to Jackson. Kicks it to George. There's the drive. A three ball. And Jackson with the basket on the assist by George. And that ties it up. Looking at Reggie's motion, it's a little bit of a push shot, but able to get it to go. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson. And that is his first Jackson's foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Rocket substitution. Josh Christopher. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. with it who's averaging around five and a half points a game there's Porter with the three and with the rebound Los Angeles is gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game to the middle George looking around and 
two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one goes on Wood. The rare guy who can do everything at both ends. Paul George gives you a chance to win every night. And Steve, we know about Paul George, a fantastic outside shooter. He's been an elite three-point artist for some time. Paul George can get a Take shot a up over Take most defenders. That's Two why, shots. Kevin, has a career three-point percentage that's creeping towards 40%, and he seems to be getting better with age. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. And Greg, for those players who were discussed in trade talks but weren't dealt at the deadline, is it hard for them to ever trust team management again? You know, initially it is a shock to the system, but you learn quickly it's a part of being a professional. And some guys can block out the noise and manage their emotions. Others will struggle with it a little bit. The Rockets have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Christopher, the pass to Hart. He kicks it to Porter. Shot to stop the run. He lays it in. Kevin Porter. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to George. Back to Jackson. From the left block, he sends it through. And the Clippers lead by two. An efficient score inside. Morris can beat you with a variety of moves. It's Porter outside. No good. That's miss number two. He's one for three. Down low. And the dunk to finish it off. Beauty. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Shengun. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Plays it up and banks it in. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. Wood against George. That one off the back iron and out. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. To Hart. Pass to Wood. And it's sent back by George. Not going to be Paul George with that move. He's too long and too talented of a defender. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Now Jackson. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Six to shoot. Rockets with the rebound. Last time they met in Houston. And they scratched out a close win the last time these two teams met. I think their ability to attack and create foul trouble for the opposition was a real factor. As long as they maintain that same aggressiveness, they should be in solid shape to come away victorious again. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Johnson is checked in for the Clippers. And a switch here also for Houston. Martin's checked in. Out to the right wing. Defended by Hart. Rebounded by Hart. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Porter looking it over. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Guarded by Porter. To end the drought. Los Angeles with a fresh shot clock. No good that time. Houston's gone a meager one of six from three-point land since we got started tonight. Here's Hart. Here's Shengu. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Marcus Morrison. Marcus
Marcus Morris picks one up there. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force them to the line. Houston shooting their first free throws of the evening. And they've been ordinary on the season as well, just about 75% from the line. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. So he hits both. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the first. Guarded by Porter. Rockets with the rebound. Shingun's got four rebounds in this game. Hart the pass to Christopher. The 10 footer. And too long on the shot. The Clippers shooting only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Nailed from three-point land. One of George's main strengths, able to stretch the floor with his outside shooting. Now here's Porter. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Chicago. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. There's 42 seconds left here in the first quarter. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. Throw good. Porter. Allen's checked in for Houston. And Porter drops them both. Clippers trail by three. Covered by Mark. Here's Preston. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Up and in on the lane. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from Kutra. And it's Allen slamming it down. When you have an elite wingspan like Jared Allen, you make those alley-oops look easy. And it's off from three-point range. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Rockets lead by three. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Well, John Wall, one of the most explosive guards in the NBA, and he knows the importance of keeping teams honest with his perimeter shot. Uh, when my jump shot's going, it opens up the floor so much more for me and my teammates and giving those guys open looks. And uh, it's just the hard work I put in and these guys trusting and believing me of being able to knock down open shots. Well, Greg, we've seen plenty of other players improve their jump shot during their time in the NBA. And as he slows down with age, I think that will be the key for Wall, increasing his confidence from range. 
And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what do you think? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. So with George on the bench, here's who Teron Lou's going with. They've got Ivica Zubats, and it's man in at the small forward position. Wall, no luck. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Clippers. They trail by one. Preston passes to Johnson. Good work defensively by Mark. The Rockets shooting the ball at 42%. Wall finds Allen. Outside, Wall. The pass to Hart. Five to shoot. No oh, good on the shot. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Passes it to Preston. Johnson outside. Wants to get it to Zubox and does. Pass to Preston. Johnson with it. Zubox trying to break loose. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. One word you can use to describe Jerry Allen Gregg is efficient. He doesn't waste his chances at the offensive end. I mean, like ever. He's very smart with his shot selection. But don't let that take away from his defense. Allen takes a lot of pride in protecting the rim. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Pass to Zubat. Here's Preston. And the three off target. To the inside. Tate kicks to Wall. Ingles dishes the Wall. Can they get it? Preston with the rebound. The Clippers trail. Inside. Perkinson passes to Zubats. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Well, with Zubats on the floor, you know what you'll get. It gives great effort when he's engaged. Also, the plus is, G.A., he does a good job of rim running. He also dies well off pick and rolls, and combined with his offensive of rebounding, gives you some size in the middle. The free throw drops for Zubox. Greg, you've got a unique view of the league, not just a former player, but great broadcaster, courtside all these games, but also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you have a child that has a passion, something you're passionate about, it creates a, a special bond. And to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible. And what a blessing. Uh, I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. The first one at the line is good. And you got to respect Wall's tenacity. This is a player who hasn't let injury slow him down. He always puts in a big effort and just pushes himself to give his all. And so Wall nails both of them. Clippers have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Preston can't hit. The Rockets have gone 0 of 4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. Wall, good. Wall's got four this quarter. And a strong guard. Wall takes the hit and still can convert. 
just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And again, no good by the Clippers. Rockets have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Back to Ingles. Outside, Green. Six on the shot clock. And Allen slams it in. As Allen continues to develop his offensive game, he continues to earn the trust of his teammates. Preston passes to Kennard. The pass to Preston. Into the lane. An easy two points on the way. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Outside wall. Green inside the three-point line. The Clippers grab the miss. Johnson surveying the floor. Over wall. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. And the chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They're penetrating, finding the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. And the Clippers making a change here. Jackson's checked in and a switch here also for Houston. Christian Woods checked in for Jared Allen. So Johnson hits two of them. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. Outside, Green. Ingles against Zubac. Now, here's Ingles. Tight defense on him. That shot is no good. And he's one for three from the floor. Here's Perkichin. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And there's the foul. It'll go on Christian Wood. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Clippers making a change here. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Just five to shoot. This is it to Perkichin. But Trey, they grabbed their own miss. Here's Zubats. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Wall. He's got eight. From deep. No, no good. That miss takes him to three for seven. Pass to Zubats. To the paint. Perkichin passes to Jackson. Pass to Zubats. Puts up a three. That shot off. And it's Houston the other way. And there's the pass to Wall. Pass to Wood. the wall shoots over Zubats misses off the right iron and for his offense this has just been a brutal period Kennard the pass to Zubats it's stolen by wall and on our sideline our reporter David Aldridge thank you Kevin John Paul George has taken some heat in recent years he says people get so caught up in what other folks think I'm Paul George. I don't care to be anybody else. I am who I am. You love it or you don't. Simple as that. The guys with this player on the floor, he is the answer. He is certainly playing at an elite level. EA, thank you. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And examining his numbers this season, we can see that he's been an exceptional free throw shooter. 
right around 85. That's good from Jackson. Reggie Jackson can still provide scoring. Maybe not at the 19 points per game level he once did, but he can still make an impact. Now here's Green. He picked up 27 points in the last win against Chicago. Shingoon with the bucket. Shingoon's got six. And that's what the pump fakes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. And Reggie Jackson, Steve, as you said, not the big scorer he once won. He's got a reduced role, Kevin, on this team right now, but he can still get you a bucket when needed. Credit to Reggie Jackson for staying ready at all times. Now, here's Cano. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken, yet this team still continues to hold the lead. Here's Ingles. They trail by one. That gives them the lead. Shingun's got four points in the quarter. We've talked about it before. Unselfish, great awareness. Ingles willing to turn down the shot if someone can break free. Now here's Jackson. He has six. That one falls. Eight points for him. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Here's Ingles. He averages a bit over six points a game. Outside, Porter. That's to Shengu. Now, here's Ingles. Defense right on him. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. This is the thing about Ingles. He's got the size and the strength to play with physicality. Ingles covering. Driving in. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. George, that's a two-pointer. And it's off the back rim. No good. Now, here's Ingles. The dish to green. And finished off by Wood. And let the big man eat. Throw it up to Wood. And he'll complete that some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pockets leading by three. The kick out to Porter. Back to Wood. Over George. Wood can't hit. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Jackson, two minutes nice D from Porter. For Houston, they've gone 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. 149 left in the first half of basketball. Right on the bucket. Woods got the lead up to five now for Houston. And not easy getting Wood off his spot, even with contact. Time out, time out. Still able to stay focused and balanced. And the Clippers call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Mans checked in for Kennard. Stolen by Martin. And here's Porter. He has six. Shengun passes to Christopher. No good on the triple. Clippers trail by five. Here he goes. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. It's his first trip to the line. He's been doing really nice work at the line. 83%. Shooting two. The first one falls.
And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's Houston with it. Three-point lead. Porter against Jackson. Porter passes to Christopher. Doesn't get it to drop for him. George with the defensive effort. Covered by Mark. Pass to man. And here's Jackson. For three. And he's good on the three ball. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. That's his second personal foul. This is his second trip to the line in this one. The Rockets making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Shooting one. One shot. And that drops, so they now lead by one. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. To the right side. He lobs it up and finished off by Martin. He talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. And George with the stuff. I mean, he is explosive with his leaping ability. Paul George is well-versed in finishing above the rim. Here's Porter. Oh! oh. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> and that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? Houston on top, up by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Teron Lou. Teron, what problems are you seeing out there? Just the other mate shots. We just gotta be back and we gotta keep playing. Thanks for your time, Teron. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow, right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports halftime show. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they displayed, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive end. And Shaq, your take on the Clippers. Ernie, they're taking way too many threes. The offense has no rhythm. They need to go back to the drum. Maybe try to get a little bit more transition, more off the pick and roll. Anything other than shooting that three. It's not going. second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession it's been one outstanding game from George and he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line it's a part of his game that he can always tap into there's an art to it and he is painting the canvas tonight and we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. So on the floor for Houston. The backcourt made up of Wall and Green. Joe Ingles is out there with Jay Sean Tate. And it's Allen in at the five spot. The pass to Wall. From outside, off the mark. The Clippers trail. To the middle. Here's Zubats. And the layup falls. Zubats has got 11. 
as we approach the fourth quarter. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Wound up there for Allen. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And just taking pride in being their leader. These passes show Wall wants to make his teammates better. And Luke Kennard signing a four-year deal at the end of 2020. Steve, this team feels he can be a big part of their future. Yeah, a lot of people were surprised at the size of the contract, Kevin. But it shows how much the three-pointer is valued in the NBA. The Clippers saw he provides a much-needed aspect. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. It's a one-point game. Tate, no good. Clippers with the ball. Kennard on the wing. It's rebounded by Houston. Ingles has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Allen finds Wall. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. One John two for two at the line so far. And his average at the line stands at about 79% right now. So solid numbers in that department. And that one falls for Wall. Clippers trail by four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Passes to Preston. Los Angeles with another miss. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. Here's Wall. Down goes basket John number Wall. six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. And big scoring night for Wall. And, and for him, it's about the rip. When he's locked in, it, that gives him the confidence to keep firing. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Rockets leading by four. Wall up top. 15 points in the game. Kicks it to Green. Tate with the ball. Pocket six. Outside wall. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Preston. Headed by Green. Preston can't hit. He's had a tough time getting it going. And he's put this team behind the eight ball. Wound up there for Allen. Up high to stop the alley. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley -oop. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Make some noise. Johnson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Keon Johnson. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Green. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Green's got the lead up to six now for the Rockets. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Here's Preston, defended by Allen. Four on the clock. Kennard for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Kennard's got his first three points of the game. Always working to find open territory. Kennard's lethal in catch and shoot. Wall passes to Allen. Outside, Green. It's stolen. Pass to Preston. Now, Kennard. Knocked away. And they're moving it up. The kick out to Wall. 
The shot, no good. And the Clippers will come the other way. Pass to Perkichin. And it's the Rockets on the break. Fires for three. That shot is in just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Houston. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. And, and also, how about the points they've got in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Eight. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Ingles has got four assists now tonight. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. Here's Preston. And the pass to Zubats. Kennard on the wing. Floats one up. Tate with the rebound. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Ingles passes to Allen. Now Ingles lined up there for Allen. And now the Clippers on the break. Wall against Kinnar. Passes it to Preston. Over Ingles. Preston can't hit. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Green kicks to Wall. A floater, and he makes that one. John Wall. Wall's got 10 points here in the second half. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Los Angeles calls timeout. And look at John Wall. What a contribution so far. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. Here's Jackson. Eight points for him. Unloads from 13. Pass to man. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, no good by the Clippers. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net. And that helps. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, mid-range jumpers are something of a lost art these days. But they're still practiced by superstars like Kawhi Leonard. Coach Ty Lu said, why not work on the shots that teams are giving up? Down the stretch, mid-range shots win games. Playoffs, too. If you shoot it at a high clip, it's just as good as a three for me. Guys? And they do shoot it at a good clip, and they rely on it quite a bit. David, thank you. Now here's Johnson. Pass to man. That's going to drive your coach crazy. Protect the basketball. He lost focus for one second. There goes the possession. Here's Christopher. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Hart, no good. Down low. And he banks in the layup. He's got eight. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. There's the pass to Christopher. Wall against Jackson. Shot clock at six. Oh, and here we go. Jackson, nobody back. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Aggressive on the drive. That's going to result in some free throws for Jackson. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Reggie Jackson at the strike. At the line for two. First one falls for him. 
You know, he was the 24th pick in 2011. I think it's safe for us to say Jackson's outplayed that draft slot. Kevin Porter's checked in for John Wall. All free throws good from Jackson. And so here is Houston. Six-point lead. Hart the pass to Christopher. He kicks to Porter. Goes back up. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. Whistle blows, bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And for a guy this big, you'd like to see more activity on the glass. But give Morris credit, he's getting after it tonight. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And, and you know what? The work he's put in at the line starting to pay off. How about 78% on the season? And the Clippers making a change here. George is checked in. Martin's checked in for the Rockets. And a guy who's bounced around the league a little. Surprising given that Morris is a solid shooter and a pretty good defender in rebound. Here's Christopher. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Wood kicks to Porter over Jackson. And good Kevin as it just snugs right down through the net. Clippers trail by five. Outside Jackson. They get a hand on it. Here's Wood. He has six. Christopher, the pass to Porter. Over George. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Now it's a seven point Two Houston lead. Remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Jackson against Porter. From past the arc. Jackson misses. Houston's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Loads it up for Wood. An emphatic LU jam. And the evolution of Wood continues to impress, accepting a bigger role in this offense. Now here's Jackson. He's got 10. Going inside, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Jackson's got four points this quarter. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. On the wing, Porter. Wood kicks to Porter. Shot from 12. Second shot opportunity. And there's the nice layup by Wood. Wood's got 10 points. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. And there's the call on Kevin Porter. Kevin That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Now, into the lineup for your Clippers, Jason Preston. Houston on D. At the elbow, it's George. Back to Johnson. Five on the clock. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Mann. And the foul LA called foul. on Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris. That'll be his second foul of the game. his second personal foul. First team foul. Houston leading by nine. Green, green, green. Porter passes to Wood. And finished That's off by Wood. Wood. And there's a lot of power behind Woods' dunks. He's not going to get cheated when he takes it to the rim. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Wood. Woods got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Clark kicks to Wood. Passes it to Porter. Tipped away. 
Paul George with the steal. John Wall getting it done for the Houston Rockets. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. George and Zubats inside at the four and the five. Then it's Johnson, and it's Mann in at the three, the small forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Wood can't hit. Clippers trail by 11. Here's Preston. Rebound by Christopher. The Rockets shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Green is checked in for the Rockets. Christian Wood, shooting one. Mind the lane, mind the lane. One shot. Free throw good, Wood. Christian Wood had that breakout campaign back in the 2019-2020 season with Detroit, earning himself a huge free agent deal. Great to see Christian's hard work pay off. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, at the basket, guys, still shaking. Outside, Green. Loads it up for Wood. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Johnson finds Zubats. That's short off the rim. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. George against Wood. It's hauled in by Paul George. George has got six rebounds here tonight. And there's the call on Kevin Porter. That'll be his second foul of the game. For the Rockets, Allen comes in for Christian Wood. And it's Jay Sean Tate in for Hart. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Takes it inside. That one goes. It's counted. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Rockets leading by 12. Porter passes to Allen. Outside, Green. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Poke loose. It's stolen by Green. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. Fires the three. That one, no good. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Here's Perkichin. Tate covering. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. At the line for your Clippers. Taking two shots. Two 
and he knocks down the first one. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Joe Ingles is checked in for the Rockets. John Wall comes in for Kevin Porter. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Allen, and that comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall's got three assists in the game. Preston passes to Zubats. Here's Mann. Pass to Preston. Just four to shoot. Zubac finds Pinar. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Third team box. Trying to defend Kennard. You know he can hit shots with limited it's space. That place. helps him get you off Luke balance. Kennard at the line for three. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. The sharpshooter Kennard is valuable. A guy who stretches the floor and works very hard. And he sinks the second. He makes all three. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for Houston. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. You can tell he put a lot of practice into that one. Wall's always ready to break out something slick if he's got the time and space. Preston passes to Zubac. I mean, even from over here, you can see Jared that Allen. one pretty clearly. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for L.A., he beats a Zubat. Two shots. And he makes the first. And so he makes both from the line. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Green dishes the wall. Puts it up from 12. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Preston. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Houston. Ellen's got six rebounds in the game. Bobbed up there for Green. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Engel. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. DJ Boston. Clippers trail by nine. Pass to Kennard. Zubats against Allen. Clippers moving the ball around. Here's Mann. Makes it off the glass. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Houston leading by seven. Outside green. Back the wall. 
Kicks to Ingles. There's the triple. Kennard with the rebound. The Clippers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Tate covering. The pass to Zubats. Ball against Kennard. Green with the rebound. Green's got six rebounds now in the game. Allen. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Clippers trail by nine. Pass to Perkichin. Kennard against Wall. Kennard, the pass to Mann. It's stolen by Green. Dishes it to Ingles. To the inside. Here's Wall. Drops in the layup for two. Wall. And it's an 11-point Houston lead. Sometimes the wall seems just undeniable. Even the contact doesn't slow him down. Here's Mann, defended by Allen. And here they come. Here's Tate. Finish off the break. And the Rockets lead by 13. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Kennard, the pass to Zubats. Back to Kennard. For the three. Knocks down the three ball. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now I'm has his second. Now a timeout called by Houston. And for the teams who are rebuilding, Smitty, it seems stacking draft picks is often the best approach. Pick swaps, protections, it can make your head spin. It can, Kevin. I think for the younger guys, it comes down to a couple things. Player development and the culture you breed. That's usually the difference between success and failure. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, John Wall. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance. But his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. He got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight. They were riding him hard all night, and he ate it up. Some guys just like being the villain, I guess. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, the Rockets coach had some words for his team during the timeout. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active. Talk to each other. Don't let up. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. And both free throws good for Green. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. And the Clippers call time here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Clippers trail by 12. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Houston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Outside, Wall. And Wall slams it home. And I just love the way Wall kind of nice through that defense. He is masterful at slashing to the rim. Covered by Wall. It's stolen by Wall. Pass to Allen. Back to Wall. Now, here's Ingles. Guarded closely. Wall's shot is off. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Perkichin. Kennard on the wing. Pass to Mann. Six to shoot. And the layup's good off the glass. Man, great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. 
Zubats against Wall. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. The pass to Kanar. Inside. Got a piece of it. Here's the step back. Wall grabs the board. Wall's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Allen kicks to Wall. Back to Allen. And then Allen slams it in. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Driving the lane, and he goes in for the dunk. Never a bad idea to run the old kick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Clippers trail by 10. Passes it to Kennard. Down low. Zubats in the post. Covered by Wall. Pass to Perkichin. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Substitution for your Clippers. Paul George. Jason Preston. And so it's Ingles with it. He brings it up for Houston. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Wall. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. To the inside. Perkinson passes to George. Two Here's Preston. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Pass to Tate. Green left side. There's 138 left in the fourth. That three off the mark. Clippers trail by 10. Preston passes to George. Out of bounds. Clippers balls. The Clippers keep possession. Wood, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Rocket substitution, Christian Wood. George against Ingles. Rocket six, and George, here we go. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Rockets. If they had to battle for this win, there were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. And, and that's a product of their mental toughness. Anytime the floor of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And so it'll boost this year's win total for them to 29. And not only are they on their way to winning this game, this also gives them a win in the season series. A good win, and a lot went into it. But I just like the showing for John Wall. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. Guys, let's just go ahead and call this one. It's over. They couldn't make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. Yo, check Wall. Wall against Zubats. And here's Wall. So we see Houston taking the W here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks with John Wall. John, it sure looks like the chemistry is coming together. What is the bond like with your teammates? Uh, we enjoy playing with each other. Uh, we have great chemistry. We all work hard and we know how much we mean to each other, how much we work every day, and uh, we're just trying to keep getting better each game. Well, the work is paying off, John. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. 
And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.